What is going on YouTube? Hit him back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at XRP as well as Bitcoin. We're going to be looking at some altcoins as well, uh, Litecoin as well as Ethereum. More specifically, I want to focus on today's episode in regards to the fact that uh, XRP and Bitcoin are starting to retrace to lower levels. It's becoming increasingly harder to figure out and pinpoint any sort of um, movement or channel that XRP is really holding into. The only way we can really use this to pretty much chart uh, future movements is by looking at other altcoins, specifically Bitcoin, in regards to where exactly we could see Bitcoin potentially move to before it pulls XRP up in price and corrects back up to higher levels, because I do indeed believe we're going to see some major moves to the upside in the near future. We just have to figure out exactly when that's going to happen. We're also going to be looking at, obviously, uh, the current coin market cap in regards to where these coins are moving to, as well as the altcoins like Litecoin, as well as Bitcoin, because I do think those are some, and Ethereum, those are some other uh, interesting indicators that could potentially help us kind of figure out where exactly this market is and where exactly we could be seeing bigger movements. Now, as you guys know, we left off basically uh, with Ripple XRP potential breakout with Bitcoin, basically tracking the right movement. I want to continue off that as well. Um, otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on posts notifications leave a giant thumbs up remember we are doing a $25 bitcoin giveaway this friday all you have to do to enter is comment down below hashtag crypto tv and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you do both of those steps you'll be entered in the drawing for this week otherwise let's move on to today's video so guys, like I said before, we did end uh, in regards to the comparison more so specifically between Bitcoin and XRP. And I'd like to continue off that basically discussing more so the patterns that we're seeing right now and also potentially seeing other uh, retracements or things of that nature, potential channels. You can see right here, XRP is starting to dip lower. And I want to kind of figure out where exactly we could be heading lower to. Now, I do want to look at the current coin market cap. I believe I refreshed this, but I guess I'll do it again. And I don't know why it now switches from white to black but um whatever um we're having a mixed market right now you can see coins are pretty much in either direction but for the most part these three are synced xrp more so just trading out sideways but bitcoin and, and ethereum are, are quite neck and neck same thing with litecoin and eos those four seem to be very 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 similar Otherwise, not really uh, breaking up in any or either direction. NEO doing quite well, up 8%. But for the most part, we're going to be focusing on these. Obviously, I don't want to just be speaking specifically on all the coins that break out afterwards. It's kind of no fun. It's like it's good to track these cryptos right before they break out so we can all make some money as well. Um, so to continue off of where we left off, so we're looking at XRP right now. You can see a couple indicators. We're seeing this bearish crossover on the MACD right now. I'm starting to see potentially a four hour downtrend. That may be something to consider or something that may be worthwhile uh, later on in tracking XRP. Now, I'm not sure how well this is going to hold. Now, obviously, we're breaking bearish through our support at 27 cents. You'll notice we do have wicks here, so there's a chance we can wick back up and hang up behind here, but there is a small four hour resistance, so we may be breaking lower. Now, this isn't ultimately a bad thing. You know, obviously, we do have some other supports, probably around 25 cents and then as low as 24 and a half cents. Now, I do think we're going to fill up this channel fairly soon. You can see the four hour we're nearing oversold, but the daily we're not near it yet. We're actually trending at around I'd say 42 on the RSI so a little bit less than half on the RSI so they don't look bad to head lower and I do want to continue off that in regards to where we could be falling lower now this is definitely like I said a very 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 difficult coin to track and I've noticed it's pretty much in sync with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is breaking lower and we're seeing that happen within XRP as well. We're even seeing it happen within Ethereum, which is quite odd with its small four hour uptrend or ascending triangle. It's seemingly breaking bearish right now through the major you know, ascending triangle it has on the coin. But I want to specifically focus on Bitcoin right now because I think this is the best indicator. You know, it is some um, layover from what I did discuss in yesterday's video, but I think it's quite important. More specifically, I want to discuss where we could be seeing this breakout happen or where we're looking for. So obviously, when we look at Bitcoin, we have to consider two things. Uh, basically, the fact that we're nearing oversold and we're seeing also a bearish crossover on the MACD as well. So this is pretty much indicating that we are going to be heading lower. Now, obviously, we did have the short term little blip that happened here, which isn't anything to be uh, worried about because we've seen in the past, we've had these blips before and we immediately retrace. So this is exactly what happened. A little pop to the upside, an immediate retracement. That was very funny of a time. A lot of you guys were, oh my God, we're breaking out right now. And I was like, eh, 
I'd hold off. Uh, obviously, all these charts are on Patreon, so definitely check that out. It is in the description if you guys want exclusive access to these. But more specifically, in regards to how much lower we can go, we have to consider a couple of things. Like I've been saying, and I want to continue trying to show you guys some interesting movement, is when we hit oversold on the daily, that's when the breakout happens. We have to be in sync with the four hour and the daily. They both tend to do that. Clearly, the high low MMA is a massive resistance. It's a massive one. 9,100, even 9,400 are huge resistances. If we break from, let's say, $8,300 all the way up to the $9,400 we're at, that's a pretty big percentage gain, 20%. We could even break up to here, 10,005, which is a 30% gain. That's a massive jump that I will be buying into. Now we have to consider when we become oversold. Every time we were oversold, that's when the breakout happened. Oversold right here, broke out happened. Oversold, broke out happened. So we're looking for another means of trending sideways becoming oversold. So let's try to figure this out right now to give you guys a short time period. So you can see right here when we were here, it took us about, I would say, six days for us to eventually hit rock bottom oversold. We could even move it out a little more right here, uh, about four days. So that's what we're working with, four to six days, about a week on average right now. So if we just extend this out, we got about four to six days. We're looking at, at most, I would say, November 19th. That is, yeah, in six days or actually in seven days, it's the 12th. So in seven days, we should be seeing November 19th. Now, this is pretty much the rest of this descending fractal that I drew, which is a good sign. It's completing this. It does show us the bottom. Now, we're looking for movement. If we can see this tend to hit the oversold around 17th to the 19th, that is a massive indicator. Now, we're looking at the 19th. So if we extend XRP, we'll now be able to track when exactly this is. So looking to the 19th, we're looking at about right here. Well, a little bit more because we're looking at this on the four hour, but you can see this is where the 19th is. Right about here, we have this much more coverage to move down to. We can obviously go down this low. There's a pretty decent amount of movement we should be covering. So there is a quite a big chance we could be dropping lower within XRP. Don't want to be too bearish, but for the week, for about a week, we could be trending in a bear market, eventually hitting support and breaking upwards. Now, before I continue, I want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Bitmins, for sponsoring today's episode. Now, if you guys have been a local to the channel, you would know that we've been discussing Bitmins for quite some time now, and I've been seeing quite a bit of interest in the comments down below. Obviously, for those of you who are new, Bitmins is a great way to basically, all it's like an alternate investment. It's a digital asset, so instead of investing in baseball cards, which are one of one, you'll be investing in a digital diamond, which is a one of one, which is awesome. A great way to actually check whether these are a one of one. It's as simple as clicking on. Now, these are mine. Keep in mind, I got involved in Bitmins back in February, and you can see I've own, I own around 20. I'm just showing you a couple right now. You can see what they're currently trending out. Now, each Bitmin starts off at $10, which you can get invested into, and they are a one of one, like I said. The prices uh, move up percentage wise uh, based off of purity. They're value their color scale as well as their crown things of that nature and you can see that's why some of the prices are a little bit different but you can see 162 dollars 98 120 149 and 1400 percent 800 percent you know since february so there's huge profits right here very easy to sell you just click sell goes into the open market somebody buys it bam you get paid out in paypal so another thing to consider is when you click on details you'll actually get brought up the blockchain hash this is very simple. You just click copy to clipboard. You can go on to, I believe it's right here, the Etherscan website. You click paste, you click search, and you can see that each coin is pretty, or it would be each coin, it's each digital diamond is backed by its own transaction hash. And you can see pretty much all the information you want in regards to what exactly uh, is the pitment, you know, where it is, what it is, what it's doing, things like that. Now, I don't want to explain too much more. They do have a video up. Uh, it's literally bitmans.com, how to verify ownership on blockchain. This basically, you know, explains through everything as to what exactly to do. So check that out as well. But to continue where we left off. So we're expecting to see about six days now. We could do this a little bit shorter. I don't want to say six days eight hours right here maybe of retracement lower now like i said we're looking at this compared to bitcoin when bitcoin finally hits oversold i'm expecting to see if not a conservative same bullish approach 
but something very similar to it, if not more. So this was an immediate 40% gain. If we see another 40% gain from the point of breakout, we could easily see $11,400 on, on Bitcoin very easily. And I do anticipate something like that to happen. On XRP, we're looking for, and we can go back to our previous little pop that we had, which was right around here, whether or not you want to count it from the bottom, which would be obviously bigger. We'll just do that for right now and then correct this after. So this is about a 30% gain, 27%. If we then move this over to potentially the point of breakout, which would be right November 8th, 18th you'd see we'd be easily breaking through resistance up here and immediately seeing a price of around 33 cents that's a conservative approach if we manage to break bullish through this resistance we may be able to break up at an extremely high volume moving us up very high so right now for those of you who are involved in xrp pay more attention to bitcoin as well or definitely pay attention to bitcoin as well because we're looking for this to hit oversold right now we're at 50 we look good we started off all the way back at 63 we're down to 50 we're looking for that more retracement down to lower levels now there is ways to make money off of here and i freaking love the website so much obviously if you guys have been watching you know exactly what it is that i'm talking about but obviously it is dudex.com or dudex. yeah dudex.com they allow you to short crypto which is absolutely amazing buy long and sell short you can actually sell off the dips that have happened obviously the most recent one right here on bitcoin, uh, bitcoin was very very tiny. Uh, I didn't want to risk it involved. It was very quick as well compared to when I bought at $9,600 and I sold all the way down here at like nine, or I think I sold like $8,000, 8,800. It was much easier to sell off compared to this little dip that we had very quick right here. Now I am anticipating consolidation. I really am. I'm anticipating some sideways movement. Maybe we'll just continue lower. It's definitely very possible, but it seems like all these coins tend to trend sideways. They tend to trend sideways. So I'm looking for either movement lower, obviously, which will immediately just set us into oversold as well as into oversold on the daily as well, which is what we're looking for, or consolidation outwards, then a dip lower. Now, if we do see a dip lower, obviously that's when I'm going to be shorting the crypto and buying long. More specifically, when we do see this breakout, because I don't want to invest a crap ton of money into the exchange, I plan on using leverage trading. Leverage trading means they'll pretty much double whatever it is that you have in uh, put in here. So you can pretty much, if you put in 400 and you do two times, it will be uh, $800 if you do Let's say you put 500 and you put in and you five times it, they're going to give you $2,500 off your 500. Pretty much you can do the math like that. I, I don't even know what 100x would be. I feel like that would be massive gains right there, but you got to understand it's a huge risk. Let's say you put in $500 into the account and you get into a negative and you start losing money. It's going to be multiplied by 100 times, which means your $500 is going to disappear fairly quick and then you're out of luck versus if Bitcoin went from 89 to 86 you only lose about 50 bucks if you leveraged it 100 times you're going to lose it all so you have to consider there's some risk but if you do these trades accordingly and you know what you're doing you can make some pretty awesome profit and I, i'd like to say that i've made some pretty awesome profit with this website as well so that's why i consider waiting right now we're going to look for retracement lower we're not looking for it right this second on the charts right here but we're waiting for the consolidation to happen before breaking you know potentially lower obviously for those of you who are invested in litecoin litecoin's double topping right here beautiful we're hitting resistance we're hitting high low mma i'm looking for an immediate you know lower level pull on the daily i'm really looking for consolidation lower an immediate drop to 50 dollars, if not even down to 36 which is going to be horrible but it's definitely an option Obviously, we're going to hit some support at fifty dollars, but expect a retracement. Definitely, that's what the that's what the chart's looking like. So, an immediate retracement of fifty that could eventually intertwine with Bitcoin. Bitcoin can fall lower. Ethereum's already breaking bearish right now, slightly, and a lot of the other cryptos are doing the same. So, everything is in a bear market right now. Retracement is in a bear market right now. The cryptos, and I'm saying it here, are falling in a obviously trackable method that we need to pay attention to, but they are retracing lower and we need to pay attention to when they do hit the bottom and they will we're going to or i'm anticipating to see this movement on the chart happen once again because it's been happening it's been happening ever since all the way we can go all the way back into september 19 september october november december 
okay, maybe three months, three months around, we've been seeing the same pattern getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's going to happen again. Very, very, very likely it's going to happen again. And we are going to be ready for that run. Obviously, guys, that's going to wrap up today's episode. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up. Remember, doing a giveaway on Friday for $25 of free Bitcoin. All you have to do to enter is comment hashtag crypto TV and subscribe. And remember, huge shout out to Bitmins. Obviously, get involved in them. They're an awesome exchange. The sign-up link is the first link in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.